So I was watching The Nightmare Before Christmas the other night. You know, you watch it during Halloween, and you watch it during Christmas, and every other time of the year. It's just a thing that you do. And then I get to that part of the movie where Jack's running around Christmas Town going like, What the frack is this? What the frack is that? I don't know, but I like it. And there he was. Chris Kringle. Old Saint Nick. Santa Claus, as it were. And these memories just kept flooding back to me. Just flooding in like a wave. You know, when you're a kid and you go and you talk to Santa at the mall. He's at the mall for some reason. You wait in line for about an hour and you go and sit on this man's lap. And I gotta tell you, I was a suspicious little girl. I thought, who is this man? Is this, is his beard even real? I don't know. Is that a pillow in his jacket? And every year my dad would take me because he thought, this time, this time, my daughter will not cry sitting on Santa's lap. Take a picture and I'll send it to all the relatives and let them know that my child was on a stranger's lap, not crying. Which is strange because we're told as children not to go talk to strangers, much less sit on their laps, but our parents will go and pay and take a picture of this event. I remember the, like, the first time I can recollect going to see Santa, I was like, wow, this is so cool. I'm going to meet Santa. Look at all these peppermint fences and elves and doing crazy stuff. Let's do this. I'm so excited. And I go through the gates of like Santa's toy shop, you know, a shop with two peas like a shoppy. So enter the peppermint gates of Santa's shoppy and I'm thinking, this is starting to get weird. And I get that first look at Santa. <gasps> Dad, that is not Santa. Pushes me along and then tears. That is not Santa. So me and my tiny human feet muster all the courage that I gained from slip and slides and jumping off small walls and walked straight up there. This strange man was not gonna best me today. Mm-mm. No. He's like, oh, what's your name, little girl? Strike one. I know he knows my name. How could he not know my name if it is on a list that he checks many times, some might say two, twice, to make sure that I am a good tiny human and not a bad tiny human. You know when I'm sleeping, you know when I'm awake, and you know if I'm obeying my parents, but you don't know my name, Santa. You don't know my name. Shady. So I don't respond. I know the rules and guidelines of talking to strangers. And then strike two comes up. What do you want for Christmas? I, I posted you a letter. I can barely read and write. It took all I had to send you that letter and you didn't even read it? This guy wasn't getting past me. No way, no how. I did the only thing I knew how to do, which was cry more. I cried more. And so I wailed like a sad ghost who had another baby wailing sad and terrified ghost. I wanted Barbie ballerina with the brown hair because I had brown hair and it made me feel special. Now, all I want to do is get off this man's lap. But my dad takes the freaking picture and then, then we can leave. And I don't even get like a lollipop out of the occasion. Not even the ones with the little swirly thing in the rainbow and they're like an actual wooden stick. You know what I'm talking about. And I cried boo-hoo-hoo -hoo all the way home. So that's my beef with the Green Hills Mall Santa Claus.